Well, for the true Irish and for those who just wish they were but may be at heart, tomorrow is a day to celebrate. St. Patrick's Day, a celebration of the patron saint that legend says drove the snakes out of Ireland. It began as a religious holiday but has morphed into much more with green hats, green shirts, green beer. All things green will be plentiful tomorrow when the Irish at heart pack the pubs. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story. Oh, actually, a napkin, sorry. <laughs> Trevor Bennett is Irish through and through. <laughs> I sort of go to bed at night and dream of uh, stew, Irish stew, and, and turnips and carrots and all the rest of it. He so emigrated from Ireland more than 30 years ago, but the love of his homeland still runs through his veins and his kitchen. Well, we've got uh, Irish soda bread, we have some white soda bread and some whole wheat soda bread. Um, not to mention the traditional stews, simmering to perfection for tomorrow's celebrations. And it's really nothing to do with getting drunk. And uh, um, uh, where I came from, it was a religious holiday. Uh, Tell that to the thousands of people expected to pack the pubs tomorrow. Absolute controlled chaos. It should be a really good party. Lots of free flowing Guinness, tons of costumes, maybe the odd leprechaun sighting, who knows. The decorations are already going up at Irish Times, and bar staff are getting an early start on the art of pouring Ireland's most famous brew. A nice generous pour. Oh, it tastes the same. A few drops of green food coloring. Food safe, of course. A little stir for happiness. But the beer at Darcy's will look a little luckier tomorrow. And happy St. Paddy's Day. It'll be our busiest day of the year. St. Patrick's Day is always crazy here at Darcy's. Uh, we have live music all day long, so four local bands will be playing our stage for a total of 12 hours of live music. If you have more of a distinguished taste, Irish whiskey is the way to go. Irish whiskey is triple distilled, which distinguishes it from scotch, which is usually only double distilled. So Irish is very, very smooth, very light on the palate. Another way to differentiate a Scottish from an Irish whiskey, the spelling. Scott spell whiskey without an E. In Ireland, it's W-H-I-S-K-E-Y. The perfect accompaniment to an Irish feast. Beef, mushroom, and Guinness pot. And mashed potatoes and leeks. <laughs> now that sounds Irish. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Victoria.